Okay, in this next video, the next thing that we're going to learn about here is yet another voting method, and this one is called the board account method. Um, this is frequently when used, for example, to find the most valuable player um, in sports events. Uh, a lot of your um, reality TV shows use some of these sorts of, or use this sort of a voting method sort of concept to figure out who they're going to keep around and that sort of thing. Um, the idea behind the board account method is that every single vote that you get should have some weight. Um, but first place votes should count the most and second place votes should then count some and then third place votes of, of course should be pretty wimpy. If I have three candidates like I have in this case for second and third then what we're going to do is we're going to assign the first place votes to be three points and I'm going to assign all second place votes to be two points and I'm going to assign all third place votes to be worth one point and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to total up the number of each type of vote. The biggest mistake that people do is they look at this and they just say oh A has two first place votes and so they have six points. That is not what you need to do. Remember that the number of votes is reflected up here in the column. So as we go through what we've got to say is Ooh, look, A has nine first place votes here, so they're going to end up with 27, with 27 points for this first column. Uh, there's a couple of different ways that people can use to keep track of this, but we need to go and make sure that we get all of the votes from every single column. Um, some people like to do all the first place votes, and then all the second place votes, and then all the third place votes. That's one way to do it. Or you can just go through and times each one of the columns together and make sure you t get all of the columns taken into consideration. I'm going to do it this way, and you can, you can um, take the method that you like. So in this first example here, notice that nine votes are first place. So with three candidates, I'm going to have nine times three, or 27 votes. When I get to the 14, A wins um, first place for those 14 votes. So it's going to be 14 times 3. Well, 14 times 3 is 42 votes. And so we're pretty good with that. When I get to the next one here, notice that A was, for these next 15 votes, A was in third place. Well, third place votes are only worth one point. And so for this column, I only end up with 15 points. When I get to the next column here, A won second place. So those four votes here all get two points each. And so I get a total of eight points for this one. When I go to the next one, A again won second place. Only two votes in this case. So two times the two points for being in second place gives me four votes for this one. And for the last column, A gets only one point for each of those 16 because third place votes are not worth a whole lot of points. So in that case, I get 16 points. So when I go through to calculate the board account, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to add each of these values up. I'm going to grab my calculator here real quick. Actually, maybe we can be clever here and do it this way. Um, just being lazy. Oh, awesome. Okay. So here's my calculator. So I'm going to do 27 plus 42. Oops. It's harder than it looks. Okay. 27 plus 42 plus 15 plus 8 plus 4 and plus 16 ends up giving candidate A a total of 112 points. All right, now we're going to have to go through and do the same thing for candidates B and C. When I go to do B, B1 for those first nine votes, B gets two points for each because they're second place, so 18. In the next column, those 14 votes are third place, so bottom of the barrel only means that those are each worth one point. Um, for the next one, these 15 votes, candidate B is in first place, so those are worth three points each, or a total of 45. In the third column, for those four votes, B is in first place, so again gets three points each for those, that's 12. In the next column, B is in third place, so those two votes in only get one point each. 
And in the last column, B is in second place. So those 16 votes each get two points each, um, which is 32 points. And then I need to total up these values. Um, and again, we can pull up my calculator here. So let's clear that out. We're going to need 18 plus 14 plus 45 plus 12 plus 2 plus 32 and I end up with 123. So V's looking pretty good in this particular case. Uh, one last set, we're going to look at candidate C, same deal. Um, first place votes are worth three points, second place votes are worth two points, and third place votes are worth one point. Um, here are in those first nine votes, we're at the very bottom, so that's only one point each for those, so nine. Um, for the next 14 votes, we were in second place, so those get 28. Uh, the third column, those 15 votes, we were in second place again, so that gives me an additional 30 points. Uh, in the next column, there were four votes, last place, so only four points for those. The next column, there were only two votes, but I was in first place, so I get three points for each of those for a total of six. And then for the last one, there were 16 votes. I got first place, so three points for each of those 16 votes, which gives me a um, additional, what is that, 50, ah, 32, 48? 48. And additional 48 points. Um, now, again, we're going to total each of these up and see who our grand prize winner is. Oh, let's clear that. So we've got 9 plus 28 plus 30 plus 4 plus 6 plus 48. And we end up with 125. Just barely better, but in this particular case, C won the most points. And so C is my candidate winner. using the board account method. Now, keep in mind, this is really kind of an amazing thing here if you think about it. Um, in this particular election, we, this is the same election that we did in the last video when we did that instant runoff. Um, and if you remember when we did the instant runoff, we found that B won the election. And when we did just straight old plurality, A actually was the total election winner because they had the most first place votes. So here we are with three different methods and three different winners, which is just crazy that this can even happen. Um, because all of these voting methods sound fairly reasonable um, at first glance. And so, the book in, goes into a little bit of detail about some of the strengths and weaknesses of each of those, but you can see that this really, it becomes very important for you to clearly define how you're planning to run your election um, because you actually can get different winners. Now, this doesn't always happen. Sometimes you get the same winner using all of the methods, and in fact, a lot of times you do. But the fact that they can be different using these different methods is pretty crazy. Um, so make sure, and this is the next point, as you're doing your homework, be very clear which method you're using, and I can tell by looking at the work that you're doing here, but when you're doing board account, you need to make sure that you're taking into account how many votes they are and how many points each of those has and that you're showing the work appropriately for it because um, we're just doing these same, pro these same problems over and over and over again, and sometimes you're going to get the same winners and sometimes they're going to be different. It just depends on the way that the election votes are laid out and how close of a race it is in a lot of instances. That makes a very big difference. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention, again, in your homework, you might have a couple of elections where you have four candidates instead of three. If you have four candidates, we'll just kind of make a little note down here at the bottom. If you have four candidates, then um, first place gets four points. And we just, so each first place vote is then going to be worth four points. And then work your way down. Each second place vote is going to be worth three points. Each third place vote is worth two points. And then each fourth place vote, which would be last place, gets one point when you're adding them up for the board account method. Um, so that's the only variation that we do in terms, you just have to be a little bit more careful and make sure it's four points for each of the votes if it's first place when there's four candidates, three points for second place, 
two points for third place and one point for fourth place. Other than that, whole process, same, exactly the same. Um, once again, give it a whirl on those different elections. Go back and redo all of these elections with the board account. See which ones are the same. See which ones are different. And if you have any questions or aren't getting the answers that you're expecting to, please post up on the discussion boards.